Hubble finds Icarus star. Here's a discovery 9 billion years in the making. Icarus, or LS1, is 9 billion years from Earth. Hubble saw it because of gravitational lensing, where distant starlight is bent and magnified via the gravity of a passing galaxy. What was sighted came from a time when the universe was at 30% of its current stage. The star is believed to be a luminous blue supergiant, similar in size to our sun, but twice as hot. Researchers knew it wasn't a supernova because it wasn't exploding. Astronomers also tested its cluster for a dark matter theory. This posits that primordial black holes constituted much of the early universe. This wasn't shown, however, as the Hubble telescope would have observed different light patterns from the star if black holes passed in front of Icarus. The Infinite Void New research reckons Earth birthed the Moon. Ever wondered how the Moon got up there? The most prominent lunar formation theory holds that the Moon was formed when a Mars-sized object named Theia hit Earth billions of years ago. A cocktail of rock and metal erupted from both celestial bodies, mixing together to birth the Moon. New research posits that a collision with something did occur, but instead created a giant donut-like spinning mass of vaporized rock called Synestia. Researchers believe the Moon was fashioned inside this, potentially over hundreds of years, by atmospheric pressure, extreme heat, and rock. And then it just sort of popped out. Scientists may have found Planet 10. U.S. scientists have found evidence supporting the unseen Planet 10, which is much closer than the previously reported Planet 9, a planet that has not yet fully been proven to exist. The Kuiper Belt is a disk-shaped region in outer space that contains icy bodies, space rocks, and dwarf planets such as Pluto. It is understood that Kuiper Belt objects orbit the Sun with an orbital tilt, but those some 50 astronomical units away from the Sun should not. However, researchers have discovered that a group of Kuiper Belt objects located between 50 to 80 astronomical units from the Sun are tilted away from the invariable plane by 8 degrees, suggesting a large object with sufficient gravitational influence is causing this warp. Experts believe the unseen object is possibly as massive as Mars and is roughly 60 astronomical units from the Sun on an orbit tilted by 8 degrees to the average plane of known planets. Planet 10 is theoretically much closer to Earth than Planet 9, the hypothetical planet discovered in 2016. Planet 9 is predicted to be the equivalent of about 10 Earth masses and located between 500 to 700 astronomical units from the Sun. NASA finds star system with seven Earth-like planets. NASA this week unveiled a major discovery of a star system that contains seven planets similar to Earth. What's exciting is that three of them might just be habitable enough to support extraterrestrial life. Using the Spitzer Space Telescope and Earth-based telescopes, NASA scientists have found a star system called TRAPPIST-1, located 40 light years from Earth. The ultra-compact system contains seven Earth-like planets, with surface temperatures low enough to support water. Three of these planets are believed to be in the habitable zone, close to the system's ultra-cool dwarf star. These planets take 6, 9, and 12 days, respectively, to orbit the dwarf star. Scientists believe their Earth-like planetary compositions may not only support water, but maybe even life. NASA calculations reckon that all the newly discovered planets have a rocky surface, but the space agency says more investigation is needed to determine if any of them contain water. In 2018, NASA will launch the James Webb Space Telescope and will use this for further research into the TRAPPIST-1 system. This telescope can reportedly pinpoint water, methane, oxygen, ozone, and other elements of a planet's atmosphere. The TRAPPIST-1 system is located 235 trillion miles from our solar system, which means if you wanted to catch a flight there, the journey would take about 44 million years. So, still faster than a Spirit Airlines flight. What's hiding on the dark side of Venus? For the first time ever, scientists are studying Venus's mysterious night side and have found that it's vastly different from its day side. It takes Venus 225 days to revolve around the Sun and 243 days to fully rotate on its axis. As a result, night and day on the planet last longer than on Earth. So far, the day side has been studied extensively, but the night side has been notoriously difficult to observe until now. Venus's atmosphere consists of strong winds blowing 60 times faster than the planet's rotation. 
This super rotation has been assumed to be uniform in both sides, but new data shows the winds are more chaotic and irregular on the night side. Night side clouds formed large, wavy, filament-like patterns, not seen in day clouds, and are dominated by stationary waves, which remain still and do not move with the atmosphere. Stationary waves are thought to form specifically over steep mountainous areas, but were recently detected in the planet's southern hemisphere, an area with low elevation. The waves were likewise assumed to be rising up through the cloud from the surface, but were mysteriously missing from the lower and intermediate cloud levels. Scientists have yet to explore what this means, but will likely need to come up with new updated models of Venus to help them figure it out. 